How to design a website with mid journey. Hello everyone. Welcome back to another video. I hope you all are doing great and are having an absolutely incredible and amazing day. I bring you back with yet another video. And in this video, we are going to be talking about mid journey and when it comes to context of mid journey, we're going to be talking about how you can use this absolutely incredible and amazing software in, you know, advantage and benefit to yourself. And how are we going to be doing that? Let me tell you, basically, we are going to be adding prompts for our t-shirt design. And once we have our t-shirt design, we're going to go over to Canva to actually implement and print it onto that t-shirt. And once we do that, there you go. Your t-shirt has been made and it's absolutely easy. Okay. So to start ourselves off, what we're going to be doing is we're going to be coming to our Google page and we're going to, you know, type in Midjourney. Now, once you type in Midjourney, you are going to click on the first link that you find. It's midjourney.com. Now, once you head straight into Midjourney, here you are. Now you're going to, you know, you can join the beta. So as you can see down in the about, you can see a lot of their information. You know, Midjourney is an independent research lab exploring new mediums of thought and expanding the imaginative powers of human species. So, you know, as you can see, pretty great and pretty legit stuff. Now to join Midjourney, okay, to start off with Midjourney, what we're going to be doing is we're going to click on join the beta, okay? Now what join the beta does is it takes you a Discord page. Yes, do know this, that to access Midjourney and to work with Midjourney, we are going to want to have Discord. If you don't have Discord, I'm sorry, you cannot access Midjourney at all. So have a Discord, join the Discord's beta. Now, once you have joined Discord and it's very own beta, from there on out, what you're going to be doing is you are going to head straight into the uh, main Discord page, which is over here. So you're going to open Discord. Okay. Now this is your basic Discord. Okay. And once you join the beta, you're going to come to a page like this. Okay. This is going to be your basic announcements page. Now your basic announcements page, you know, contains your basic announcements. Okay. Pretty basic stuff. And when you first land here, you are going to be a bit confused. You know, you won't know what to do. You won't know what's going on. And that's fine. That's totally okay. Because uh, everyone, you know, they're like, what is going on over here? Now, to get into the editorial bit, what you're going to want to do is you're going to come here on the left hand side. And as you can see down here, you can see newcomer rooms, you know, newbies 29, newbies 59, newbies 89, etc., etc. So you're going to go in any one of them. I'm going to go in newbies 29. Okay, once you are in Newbies 29, you're going to scroll down to the bottom. Okay, now as you are scrolling down, uh, basically, uh, as you can see, even right now, we can see a lot of designs. You know, there's tons and tons of designs that you can see in front of yourself. And uh, yeah, pretty great stuff, isn't it? Now, you're probably wondering, how does one actually make this? Don't worry, I'm going to tell you. Okay, so what we're going to do is then like as you can see obviously all of these designs great designs in the newbie rooms and all just choose whatever newbie room you want and obviously for your website uh you're gonna want to have a good ui right a good user interface and you can obviously add that prompt into your um uh, mid journey prompt over here okay and obviously you could go in different variety of uh, newbie rooms because in every room you get a different option and you can just write a proper UI prompt. As you can see, like what a perfect example. This person has made a mobile app UI design and then they've kept different genres and scenes. And look at this. It's created a proper spot on UI. And look, it looks terrific in my opinion. It looks absolutely great. And then as we keep on scrolling down, we will obviously see more examples. So obviously, like you can't create a whole website, but you can create a good, decent looking UI. So you can get an idea of what a UI is supposed to be for your website. So in this case, let's say, let's take that as an example. I mean, you can make your own UI prompt by just writing imagine prompt, and then you could just write, you know, website UI and then obviously proceed to writing your own prompts to, you know, make it look better. 
So uh, you get like uh, the whole gist of it, you get the whole image of it. Now, in this case, let's just take example of this UI, okay? So let's say this is the UI for our website. And, uh, you know, once the website UI is done, obviously, uh, you're going to implement this into your main website. You could use external softwares like, you know, Shopify, you could use Wix, you could use all those other, and you could implement this automatically. You know, you can get the color schemes and designs. It's really easy to do so. Now, once that is done, then we're obviously going to need favicons and logos for our website. Okay. And when it comes to favicons and logos, it needs to be pretty good. So let's say this as a perfect example, a flat futuristic and round play button for a video. So this could be our logo. So to edit the logo and UI, what you're going to do, obviously you're going to open both those things in the browser and you're going to save that image. So let's say I'm going to save this image in my you know, browser. Now what you're going to do is you're going to open Canva because obviously like when we redirected ourselves from Midjourney, by the way, like just as a side example, you can also go in the Midjourney showcase where they have like tons and tons of absolutely immaculate and great looking designs. So you could choose a design from here as well. Okay. Just giving you an example. Now, let's say we have our website and logo okay so first of all you're going to click on website and as you can see it gives you website templates so you're going to click on website and here's a whole website template and then you can implement your ui let's say this is the ui that we picked up from uh, midjourney and you're just going to paste it over here and look at how amazing and incredible it looks same goes for your logo you're going to go here and in the place of website you can just go ahead and write logo as so, and then you're gonna click on logo, okay? And once you click on logo, obviously it loads up. And uh, then what you're gonna do, obviously go on downloads. There's the futuristic thing, upload it. And there you go, there is your logo implemented. And then obviously you can do a lot of all other fun stuff with it, you know, manipulate it differently. You can remove the background, you can add different texts under it, you know, just play around with it, have fun with it. Just make it look levels better, okay? Because obviously, you know, you can, you know, it's gonna look tons better and uh, yeah. So to add text, let's say this is our company and I'm gonna add a text right over it, okay? This is our text. And let's call this play zone. Let's call it play zone. Okay, that's our name. Centralize it. Choose a good font. Uh, so, okay, let's say that's our font. And let's keep it in a darker area. There we go. And there you go. There you have your logo, your UI, and then you're just going to click on share, click on download, download the logo, and you're good to go. So that is how you're going to make a website using Midjourney in the easiest, simplest way possible. So yeah, that's about it. So thank you for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, drop down a like, subscribe to the channel. And yeah, that's basically all from me. Uh, I hope to see all of you next time. Goodbye.